first things first, that's right. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 was announced, technically revealed yesterday, and is said to be much, much more larger. In fact, twice the size of its original game. The sequel will be coming to pieces in the next generation of consoles around November this year. It's rumored. And just as the first game, it's a first-person medieval-style role-playing game set in a highly reactive world in which players can develop their own character as they fit. Think like Baldur's Gate 3, that scale, just darker, deeper, more cinematic, and also a different context. Check it out. Congratulations tonight. You finally become a man. Wake, Wake up. up! Pull yourself together, Henry. Nobody will hand anything on a platter to men like you and me. You still have a long way to go till your work is done. Like I said before, I'm not really sure I have played this exact horror game before or not, or if it's just the same preset, template, or whatever, because I'm pretty sure I haven't had an Unreal Engine 5 indie horror game in my library, but Decadent over here is sitting on itch for a dollar and a full release for Steam later on in the month. Uh, it's a psychological story-driven first-person shooter about this guy's anniversary incident. It's a really good game, actually. 20 out of 10 if I could do something like that, just personally waiting on its official release on Steam. <laughs> See guys, one of the SOP studios in charge of a few Blizzard IPs uh, came out today and revealed the making of a new single player science fiction third person shooter role playing game going by the name Atropol's Reincarnation. Now see, the story over here is the key, I guess. As developers said, it traces a billion year cosmic energy known as Atropulse that has drastically altered Earth's biological evolution, as we see today. This game is coming to pieces in the next generation of consoles only early next year. Your memories betray you. And yet your destiny remains unwritten. I choose you to be on the team. It's an opportunity to make millions. 
Kay Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. Fuck. We meet at last. Number four, we've got over here, of course, George Lucas's directed, most anticipated Star Wars game ever, The Outlaws. Previously rumored to be years away, but now coming out for PCs and the next generation of consoles, August 30 this year. I'm pretty sure most of you know it's a first open world Star Wars game with a whole new direction and will offer an entirely different approach in scale, graphics and also story. You might also wonder, it is the work of Ubisoft, Lucasfilms and also Disney all partnering up. Here's how it looks. Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Dabba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the... Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to, to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. Yes! Hang on. Hi, hi. I'm in the business of secrets. But it's more of an addiction. I like him straight. Nobody Wants to Die announced no more than a month ago, already amongst the top 5 most anticipated games of the year, is a detective noir game with a cyberpunk setting. Which is usually a win-win. You see, the story with this one is set in New York, over 300 years into the future, whereas the technology has advanced enough to allow consciousness to be stored in memory banks or transferred to another body. Like the movie Chappie or the Black Mirror series. Anyway. This game is coming to PCs in the next generation of consoles soon. Time does. Time reveals secrets. Secrets that enslave us. Secrets that poison us. that rip us apart. Just a quick reminder over here, Grand Theft Auto 6 is currently scheduled to launch in 2025 on the next generation of consoles, including PCs. However, Rockstar is yet to give a timeline for it. Uh, we're still waiting on legit gameplay. All we know right now is that the Grand Theft Auto 6 will be much more advanced graphically and of course, much bigger in its world. Searching house to house. If they arrest you two, they will take you to their headquarters and you will not return. Assuming you've guessed it right, in Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra, players will not only get to control Captain America and Black Panther. There's more. Well, first off, the new Marvel game is set for a 2025 release on PCs in the next generation of consoles, heavily focusing on Captain America's part of the story alongside Black Panthers as they overcome the differences in the past so they can eventually form an alliance to save the world. This game is made with the use of Unreal Engine 5, and this is how it looks. Sunrises, before the Germans, before that American, the Eye of Force has been found. Please, just stick to the rooftops. Be careful, stand wasami. When am I not? It's better if I tackle this one alone. You may encounter some obstacles. That won't be a problem. Our cat friend is definitely here too. By the look of things, he's not very far ahead. The American boy is right on your heels. Who the hell are you? If you wanted us dead, we'd be dead. So what do you want? Answers. That's far enough! Stay out of my way! Stand aside! I do not take orders from anyone! 
I don't have time for this. Neither do I. In my experience, the greatest harm often comes from the best intentions. Number eight, we have a project that basically our first footage of it or trailer goes back to almost five years ago. Nothing ever since until early in the month, we noticed that there's a gameplay for Unknown 9, Awakening. It was amongst the most surprising reveals of the month or the year and actually seems to be an action-adventure role-playing game like Assassin's Creed with stealth-based mechanics, but the characters actually got real superpowers. Check it out in case you missed it, it's said to be coming out in the third quarter of 2024. You've been here before, countless times, and so shall you be here again. In fact, you're here right now. Coming in at number 9, we have Eternal Strands. Debuted only hours ago, Eternal Strands is an action-adventure third-person player inspired by the Monster Hunters. You could probably guess the Shadow of Colossus even, and it's actually the company's first work. Now here's its debut trailer. This game is made with the use of Unreal Engine 5 as well, and said to be coming out of PCs and the next generation of consoles by the end of 2024. Silent Hill 2 Remake is due out on PCs and the next generation of consoles exclusively. It doesn't have a release date yet. Come to talk about it, not only the gameplay trailer that we came across was rather confusing, or you could say it actually killed the game's hype in a lot of ways, Blooper Team actually said that the next time we do catch a glimpse of this remake, it'll be an entire different show. Not only in the trailer's atmosphere, but also, of course, gameplay. This is only the prototype. Anyway, Silent Hill 2 Remake is at the moment the biggest work of Blooper Team. Moving on to number 11, we have the old Test Drive Unlimited Solo Crown. Originally promised to be coming out half a year ago, now set to release on PCs, Switch, and the next generation of consoles mid-2024. This is in case you're unfamiliar with, however, it's an open world driving and life sim from a series of games that go back to more than 20 years ago. Uh, the new one takes place in a replica, one-on-one -on -one scale of Hong Kong. It's a big game. Mexico side plate gate terminal. 
That being said, even though we still don't know a lot about Death Stranding 2, we know this sequel follows Sam as he tries to connect the rest of the world, taking things even further, not only in America, but into the Mexico. If you missed out on his original reveal and his recent update, Hideo Kojima revealed more gameplay, additionally titled the sequel Death Stranding on the Beach. This game is coming to PCs and the PlayStation 5 only, possibly PlayStation 5 initially, then later on into PCs within 2025. These days I'm fragile in name only. You brought America together, helped it be reborn as the UCA. But I'm afraid the death stranding is far from over. Humanity is still in danger, still on the brink of extinction. Don't act like you don't see it. A lot of things changed after you went off on your own. Especially with the in case you miss out on the news, technically speaking, we haven't had a new Fatal Fury in 25 years. Last month, however, SNK dropped the news with a new gameplay trailer that Fatal Fury City of the Worlds is launching in early 2025. The platforms were not announced either, only that the game will be playable at EVO Japan 2024, that is, from April 27 to 29. There's a new character added to the bunch alongside an all new rev system an arcade style and a smart style gameplay, which we'll get into later. A couple of months ago, we actually got confirmation from Konami itself that Metal Gear Solid Delta or Snake Eater is releasing within 2024. That is, alongside Silent Hill 2 Remake, this was announced around May last year and is said to bring a complete remake of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater to the next generation consoles, including PCs. Delta will use Unreal Engine 5, most importantly, remaining as faithful as possible to its original by using even the same voice actors. of people just like us seeking a better life. Good day. If you like Divinity Original Sin games, you're probably in for a treat. In a couple months from now, you'll be able to give New Arc Line a go when it's due. It's a tactical story-driven RPG that blends an arcane, magical fantasy setting with steampunk, meaning there's gonna be elves and dwarves fighting zipplins and whatnot. So, I don't know, if you grew up playing games such as Warcraft and Heroes of Might and Magic, you will probably like this one a lot. Why are you doing this? We're not part of your war! This new world was supposed to be beautiful and free, but the factions, mages, technologists, had no interest in peace. Their only use for these marbles is to perfect new ways to kill each other. <laughs> Hordes of Hell, on the other hand, technically Hordes of Hell, Jotun Slayer, is a roguelike horde-based survival hack and slasher that tells the story of Viking dark magic. Now the game is quite a bit inspired by the Diablo games, not only in look, 
but also combat and the fact that it's a PvE. It's a rather wave-based strategy pace to it and a lot of summoning to fight against Viking gods. Either way, this game is a PC exclusive and coming out possibly around October. Coming in at number 17, we have Kill Knight, announced no more than a week ago. This is actually viewed over a hundred thousand times on IGN since reveal. And without a doubt, it's one of the most action-oriented alien shooter style top-down dungeon crawlers we've come across in 2024. It's actually from the same developers of the famous game Age of Darkness. Here's how it looks, Kill Knight is coming to PCs in the next generation of consoles only mid to late 2024. Games, and this is Jump Ship, a mission-based co-op PvE space adventure. In Jump Ship, teamwork is crucial. Mount turrets, tackle emergencies, and ensure your ship's integrity to complete missions and reap the rewards. And last but not least, uh, say developer's first job, a mission-based four-player co-op game going by the name Jump Ship. Jump Ship, because you're actually a member of a spaceship crew, set around like a thousand years into the future, we're gonna hop in and out different planets to scavenge and fight for your survival. Not alone, but with your friends. It's basically Halo, but you take control of a ship and upgrade it along the way. Check it out, it's coming to PCs exclusively late 2024. Using our sensors, we can tell that ships are patrolling the area. With some good positioning and teamwork though, I'm sure we can make our way past them undetected. We made it. Time to enter the facility. On foot, it's essential to stay together and use all gear and equipment you've looted to stay alive. When that's done and all loot is collected, it's time to return to the ship and... Pirates! All crew to their stations! Oof, that was close. Good thing nothing got severely broken. Let's jump to the next sector. <laughs> 